Most people think that making positive changes in their lives and businesses is difficult, but it's easier than you think. Dr. Stephanie Aldridge created the Habit Formula book and she wants you to have a free copy of it. In the Habit Formula, you will learn what habits are, where habits come from, and how to form new ones. Habits rule everything in your life whether you realize it or not. Get your free copy of the Habit Formula today. Go to thehabitformulabook.com for more information. Hey everybody, you know what time it is. It's lunchtime with the Habit Master. I'm your host, Dr. Stephanie Aldrich, and I help people change their bad habits. When you change your habits, you change your life. Today is Tooth Tuesday, so we're talking about stuff in my neck of the woods. And today we're kind of talking about some serious stuff now. We're talking about procrastination with your oral health and just health in general. But it, it can start in the mouth, and it could have dire effects where... You're not going to like number five that we get to, okay? I kind of already gave it away in the description on, on Facebook here. But you're not going to like it, okay? Uh, we're talking serious stuff now. I've seen some serious things where, um, you know, we've had to transport people to the hospital. We've had people, you know, ha have some serious issues. So it's something that, you know, I don't want you to be alarmed, but it's something that you don't want to put off. And, um... We're going to talk about it. So before I forget, um, you know, if you want a little reference guide in case something goes wrong, let's say, you know, you're not one of my patients and, uh, you know, you're not sure that, you know, between two options that your dentist gave you, grab a copy of my free book. It's called Nothing But The Tooth, 11 Questions You Should Ask Your Dentist. And it kind of goes over a bunch of general stuff. Uh, you can download a free copy. Go to AkronDentalConcepts.com and download the PDF. It's free, it's easy to read, um, but it's something that if you have a specific question, I go over all kinds of situations here. I go, um, uh, should I be eating nuts and crunchy foods um, if I have a lot of dental work in my mouth? I, I don't have dental insurance. How can I afford this treatment? My gums are red and puffy. Uh, I come to the dentist for my regular checkups. Why? I wake up with headaches and my jaws are sore. Uh, why should I use a to soft toothbrush? Why do I have to floss? I have a two-year-old with a binky. Um, I got all my teeth out. My dentures are flopping. What are the consequences of having a dry mouth? I have chipped the front tooth and the filling keeps coming out. What's the matter? During my checkup, the hygienist and dentist talk about different things. What do those things mean? So it's a, just a general guide. So grab your free copy. Also, if you want to learn how to change your bad habits, you know, uh, people don't want to admit that they aren't perfect and they have bad habits, and even I still today have bad habits that I'm still working on and trying to improve, right? Life is, is a journey and something to improve upon all the time. Grab yourself a free copy. It's called The Habit Formula. Go to thehabitformulabook.com, grab yourself a free co copy, uh, fill out the exercises at the end of each chapter, and you'll be well on your way to making 2019 the best year ever. So, I was looking up the ADA, um, the American Dental Association website today and just some statistics on uh, different things about dentistry and why people aren't going and that kind of thing. Well, it says 42% of Americans don't go to the dentist on a regular basis, which is basically at least once a year, okay? Only 25% of Americans are satisfied with their teeth and gums health, okay? Only 15% of those making an appointment did so because they were in pain. Most of the time, they're making an appointment because they're in uh, acute pain, which means it's happening right now. But a lot of people, they were in pain three months ago. Now the tooth is dead, and sometimes they make an appointment, sometimes they don't. Well, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt anymore. That doesn't mean that their face isn't swollen out to here and they need, you know, big help uh, to get all that infection out. Um, so just because you're in pain doesn't necessarily mean you don't need to go see the, the dentist. 90% uh, of U.S. adults have at least one filling and one in four have untreated cavities. So there's 25% and I really think that's higher because most people, because it doesn't hurt, they don't know that they need to go to the dentist and have things checked out. 
Uh, 65 million people have signs of gum disease. That is 25% of the population. And what's funny is the other, there's another 25% that have no teeth, so they're fine with the gum disease and that because they don't have any teeth anyway. So that only leaves another half of Americans. So 25% of those don't even go to the dentist. So really only 25% of Americans have healthy gums and, and, and teeth. Everybody else, they either have no teeth, they don't go to the dentist at all, or they only go when they're in pain. So, you know, those stats kind of speak for themselves. In 2009, I couldn't find any other statistics, but 2009, Toothaches led to 830,000 emergency room visits just in that year. And I know it's more than that now. And especially when you have stat care kind of facilities that aren't like main hospitals. They just do, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, toothaches and uh, myo cuts and bruises and falling and that kind of thing. Um, you know, there's more of those clinics. And I don't know in 2009, you know, that that's, you know, 12 years ago uh, or 10 years ago, I mean. Um, if that uh, statistic really, I, I'm sure it's higher than that, especially with all the stat places. Um, but 830,000 emergency appointments, because people were in pain, uh, going to the emergency room, why didn't they go to the dentist? Okay, I understand things break sometimes on the weekends or, you know, uh, you know, on a holiday or at night when nobody's there. But more than likely, I would say probably 90% or more of those people going to the emergency room knew that that tooth was going bad. And it just finally got bad enough that it was causing them pain or swelling or something like that, where then they thought, oh, I better go hit the emergency room. And of course, it's on a Friday night or a Saturday morning or something when an office traditionally is closed. So we're gonna talk about how procrastination not going to the dentist for a regular checkup at least once a year, okay, can affect you. Um, let me find a pen. The first way is the tooth breaks. Most of the time you can fix it with a little filling, you know, $100 filling, $200 filling, and it's no big deal. In and out of the office, half an hour, 45 minutes, done, okay? But what happens when it gets worse and it becomes painful? Usually when it's painful, it's because it's into the nerve. So here's my um, drawing of a terrible tooth. I'll draw it over here and then I'll erase it. So here's my big fat molar. And here's your nerve here. It looks like an H. reality it's a big spider web of H-ness but that's what happens so what happens if it's up here and it breaks okay you put a little filling in not a big deal what happens when it's over here or down here well guess what now you're into the H right you're into the nerve it's starting to bother you right just kind of retrace that. You're in the, the the no man zone right there. Anything in the by this red area, you're probably having a toothache. Okay? Not only are you having a toothache, but number three, it's infected. So it's throbbing, you feel like your heartbeat is going out of your tooth, right? It's starting to swell. Maybe it's starting to spread. It's creating a bubble. You're getting pus and ooze coming out of it. It's throbbing, you can't even sleep at night. Every time you lay your head back, it feels like your heartbeat is in your mouth and it's throbbing pain. Sometimes it gets so bad that you, know, you can't stand it. The pain is that intense on one little tooth, right? Why? Because you waited too long, okay? Sometimes it is just bad luck and you, you eat something a little too crunchy and it, and it breaks on you, right? But a lot of times these cases that I'm talking about today are because you didn't go to see the dentist for a regular checkup. Something that we could have seen in an x-ray, 
I could have seen when I'm looking. I always look for cracks. I always make sure that the filling or a crown, any kind of restoration is sealed up and there's no cracks in the tooth or, you know, everything looks fine. But if you don't go, if you don't come and see me, if you go, go and see your dentist, how are you ever gonna know? How are you gonna know when you haven't been trained? It doesn't hurt yet, but it's getting there. You don't know when that can of worms is gonna suddenly burst. That balloon is gonna burst in your face and you got pain. You've got swelling, you've got infection, okay? Infection is what we really have to worry about, right? So, let me get rid of my terrible drawing here. The fourth thing that can happen if you wait too long is it needs taken out, yanked. So usually if it breaks, right, and it wasn't too bad, I can just fill it. Sometimes it breaks too much because you've had a big filling in and I gotta crown it, right, or cap it, surround the whole thing, right? But it's not painful. Now we're getting into painful stuff, so the nerve's infected. There's only two ways to take care of an infected, painful tooth. One is to do what's called a root canal, right? So I'm gonna draw my, my terrible drawing again. Okay, and what we do is, right where this H used to be, we go down like this, and we access this, and we rotor rooter it out. So we're removing all of this stuff. So we're clearing the cobwebs of the tooth, right? The nerve is like cobwebs, okay? It looks like an H, but then it also has little cobweb strings everywhere. That's why it's so painful. That's why it's sharp, stingy, real sharp pain, because it's little teeny nerve fibers, okay? We go in there, and that's called a root canal. Okay? That's where you clean us all out, you disinfect it, make sure all the, the yucky stuff is out of there, okay? And then all you do is you put a crown on top of the tooth, hard hat, you're ready to go. The tooth has no nerve or blood vessels to it, so it will become a little more brittle, so don't be eating too much crunchy stuff, or you could end up breaking it down here or something, and then the tooth is gone, okay? The only other way to get rid of the infection, yank it. Pull it out, okay? You look really goofy when you've done that to your front teeth. And the only thing I can do is yank it, right? Looks like a bunch of hillbillies, okay? See it all the time, especially in the older generation um, that maybe they've had health issues. It's not that they didn't want to come see me, but maybe they've been in the hospital, they've had cancer, they, you know, whatever, whatever the instance is. I just want to make sure that people know if you procrastinate, you're going to lose some teeth, okay? And then what are you going to do? Well, it's too expensive, okay? Set of dentures will run you about three grand. And they just float on the gum surface. You're going to have to buy paste. You know, a tube of paste is 10 bucks. You're going to be buying tubes of paste for the rest of your life. Okay? Got to yank them. All right? The last thing is the one that really is terrible. If that infection goes somewhere it's not supposed to, you're dead meat. You actually can die from an infected tooth. If it's on the lower, it can swell up so bad that it closes off your airway. Okay? Um, that's angioedema, and that's terrible. Uh, you actually get admitted to the emergency room and probably ICU stat. They pump you up full of um, uh, antibiotics, and sometimes they even trach you because they want to make sure that you don't die on them. Before the swelling, before the infection goes away, uh, you, you can block off your own airway and die. So there you go. I've seen people with their eyes completely shut because the infection from an upper tooth has gone up into all kinds of cavities up there and their eyes done. Again, they go directly into the ICU to make sure that they don't get any kind of encephalitis because that bacteria is nasty in our mouths and it's not supposed to be there. Another thing that can happen that will kill you 
is it can either go into the bone marrow of the jaw or also you've got a major carotid artery right here that just takes blood flow all over the, all over the body. If it gets into any of those major uh, places where you know there's heavy bloodstream, it's going to pass throughout your entire body, infect all kinds of organs, and guess what? You're dead. You're dead. Okay? Uh, I haven't lost anybody yet, although I've seen a couple of cases where they went directly to, I called 911 for them because they were that bad, and uh, they lived, but uh, it was probably, they were probably a day or two away from not because their infection was so bad, especially the lady with the eye. Um, she was in the ICU for, I think, a week before they could uh, calm down the infection for her. Um, and another person, they did have to trach her because um, her uh, neck was so swollen um, with infection that she couldn't breathe very well. So, you know, I don't want to be gory. I don't want to be, you know, scaring you, but you should be scared. You think that it, a, a simple tooth can be an issue. Well, you know, what happens if you are on certain medications? Let's say that you're taking... You have osteoporosis. You're a woman. You're taking uh, some kind of medication, some kind of bisphosphonate um, medication that helps build your bones. Well, the problem with those things is it builds your bones, but it also collects right here in the jaw, especially the lower jaw. And let's say that you break a lower tooth and I can't save it. Well, guess what? I really can't pull it out either. Because if I do, you probably won't heal. I could actually break your lower jaw, which I wouldn't do anyway. I'd send you the oral surgeon, but they can break the jaw. There's a whole problem there because you waited too long because you weren't taking care of business. You know, that's just one instance, okay? I see people all the time for my free dental day that comes in. They're not in pain anymore, but there's so much infection in their jawbone. It's spreading to other teeth. And they're not in, in pain now, they're just swollen. And their breath stinks because there's pus coming out of it. And they know they need help, but they either don't want to face it, they don't want to spend the money on it, or, you know, they're just scared of the pain or, you know, whatever. I, I don't know what, what their issue is, but it's something that you do not want to wait. Okay, so I hope, you know, everybody realizes that I can't fix everything. I am not the dental Jesus. And I tell my patients that all the time. I am not Jesus. I can't spontaneously heal you. I can't make things. I, I'm not a time traveler, you know, back to the future where I go back in time, fix, you know, you then, you know, tell you to come and see me then before it breaks and I can't, you know, fix it, right? A, you got to be careful with what you're eating. Stop eating, you know, the real hard candies. Stop eating the real hard, you know, wasabi peas and, you know, the kettle chips. Those are not meant to eat by human beings. They're meant to be eaten by machines or something, right? Because they're so hard and crunchy. Ice is not meant to be chewed. It's meant to chill your drink. It's not meant for you to chew on with your teeth. Teeth are bone and over time, you're going to get little micro fractures in there, just like a stress fracture in your foot or your ankle or whatever. Those little tiny bones, teeth are tiny bones too. Then you've had work done to them, right? I've curved out a little hole because you had a little cavity and I put a little filling in. Now the rest of the structure is weaker too because there's, you know, a filling in there. There, there previously was a cavity or a crack or something like that. Now you're still eating crunchy stuff and now it's weaker. Things are going to break. Do not procrastinate. Come in and make sure that your gums get, you know, checked out. But more importantly, make sure there's no infection there because that can travel and you're dead meat. Okay? There's so much antibiotic resistance nowadays because we've overprescribed things and the bugs are super bugs. Our mouth is so dirty. It is one of the grossest things on our body. Yep, we pop the mints and you know, have the toothpaste and, you know, try to chew the gum and stuff like that. But it is nasty, nasty structure. And if that bacteria gets into the bloodstream, the brain, major organs, you're looking at number five here. 
And there's nothing that anybody can do to stop it. It is going to be b bad, right? But that's all something that could have been prevented. It could be 100% prevented if you go see your, de your dentist, okay? At least once a year, go see them. Because let's say that you, you still need the tooth yanked, right? You're at number four where we can't save it or you don't have the money to save it or whatever. At least the infection will heal up it won't spread anywhere and you won't be in any pain right and then we can maybe make a bridge or put an implant in or you know do something uh, a partial or a denture or something where then you can at least chew a little bit okay so uh if these five things don't make you want to come see me i don't know what else will. right go make an appointment today with your dentist if you haven't done so Okay, I know for us, we're having still a special, it's buy one partial or denture, get one half off. So basically insurance pays for it, you don't. So make sure you give us a call, 330-666-7440, to make your appointment today, if you wanna hit the special. Or if you just want a cleaning, I've scared you and you're like, oh crap, I haven't been to the desk for a while or I haven't seen you, Steph, for a while. Call today, don't wait, because we're not God, we're not Jesus, we can't fix everything. But we also don't want you to get to so bad that you're number five and you're not walking around anymore, okay? Because that can totally be something that doesn't happen. It can be, uh, you know, eradicated and, um, but you have to make the first step. You got to meet us halfway so we know what's going on and then we can help fix you. Okay, so that's it for me today. It's a little bit of a shorter day, but I know it was a little dire, so we got to five real quick. And that's the thing, you can get to five real quick. It could be a matter of a week, it could be a month, and you're at, you know, you're in between four and five, big time. So don't wait, make sure you make your appointments and uh, come see us if you're in the Akron area. We see tons of people every day. I see between 15 and 60 people a day. And, uh, you know, we make sure that they stay out of all of this stuff. If I see a little crack, I say, hey, I want to get a filling done. Today I saw somebody broke two teeth right next door to each other. And I said, okay, one can just be filled because it was easy. But the other one, the whole tooth was cracked. I said, nah, we got to crown that. But you know what? I didn't make her wait. I started it today. That's one good thing about us is most of the time we start stuff today if we can. Okay? Um, so that's it. I hope you guys um, realize that you can go from one to five very quickly if you procrastinate. Let's go over them again. Number one, five ways it can affect you by procrastinating and not going to see your dentist. Number one, if it just breaks, okay? You might have cracks, you might lose part of your filling, whatever. A lot of times you just patch it back up with another filling or maybe you need a crown if it's not too bad, um, but it's not painful and you're on your way. Most of the time it could be fixed in one time. Number two, it becomes painful. You waited too long, now it's into the nerve, over that earlier, went into the nerve, now it's starting to go into the affected route, right? It goes very quickly, pain and infection go hand in hand, okay? Uh, that can start, you know, spreading into other areas. And what can happen is sometimes I can't even fix it and you gotta get it taken out. And then the fifth one is it can go and cause sepsis in the bloodstream. It can close off your airway if there's some type of swelling and infection down here in the submandibular area. Close off your airway, you suffocate to death. Or even worse, if it's an upper, it can kind of travel through all the little uh, cavernous areas and go into the brain, cause encephalitis, and you're dead. So there's a lot of way to go from one, where it just breaks but it doesn't hurt, to number five real quick and you're dead. Okay? So make sure you do not procrastinate. Come see us. 330-666-7440. Call us today. We'll be at lunch until 2. Call us. We'll get you in and at least get you a checkup or look at whatever tooth is broken. Make sure you come in. If you're not in the Akron area, make sure you go see your dentist. Call them right now. Don't wait. Call them right now. Get an appointment at least for a check uh, or a cleaning or something and just make sure everything looks good. Okay, uh, remember if uh, you want to learn how to change your bad habits like procrastination, 
You can grab a free copy of my book, The Habit Formula, at thehabitformulabook.com. Or if you want a reference guide about your mouth, you're not sure between a couple of different choices that your dentist did, you can grab a free copy of uh, my book on acronentalconcepts.com website. It's a free PDF um, ebook, and it just kind of gives you choices and facts and figures from a uh, dentist's you know, point of view. So that will help you make a decision. So uh, remember you can check us out on iTunes and Spotify. Uh, look for the Lunchtime with the Habit Master episode so you don't miss anything. And check out my YouTube site. Uh, it's called the Habit Master channel. And uh, subscribe. Okay? So that's it for me. Thanks for watching. And let's build good habits together.